Now, let us enter into transformers. As uh, we discussed previously, there will be four phases like you know ideal machine analysis, modeling practicalities and finding parameter values of equivalent circuit by indirect loading tests and performance analysis. At the end, applications we are going to see. Now, in ideal transformer analysis, there will be in ideal transformer analysis we are going to discuss at no load how my ideal transformer will work and at the same time we are going to discuss at loaded conditions how transformer is going to work ideal transformer as i told you before like you know practicalities will come at later point of time so we are going to assume machine as ideal now in modeling practicalities okay we have to discuss about like you know the main fundamentally let me tell you one difference between your network theory mutual inductance and transformer machine okay so in transformer machine like uh, our transformer is going to be non-linear if you think of your mutual inductance of your network theory okay mutual inductance of network theory network theory is meant for linear time invariant systems okay so it's meant for linear but the difference here is the difference between networks and machine is my machine is going to be non-linear okay so non-linearity effects has to be analyzed first in the sense the main non-linearity will come into machine because of magnetic material so magnetic material has to be modeled in order to understand magnetic while understanding magnetic material we are going to get two subtopics that is going to be hysteresis and eddy currents now these two things has to be modeled by using network theory parameters such that such that those parameter values will be found out here in phase 3 in the indirect loading test and those parameter values will be used in performance analysis in order to find the performance characteristics now after that magnetic circuit we may have to model leakage and after that we may have to model copper loss copper loss so with this i can say that means phase 2 will be over okay now phase 3 is going to be here you are going to find out like you know by which parameters those practicalities has to be modeled and in phase 3 we have to find those parameter values of equivalent circuit means for example if i uh, consider here in phase 2 a resistance how much is the value of resistance will come here if you uh, this analyze and model maybe leakage for example leakage will be modeled in the name of inductance how much is the value of inductance has to be understood here now in indirect loading how many tests will be there like you know polarity test will be there first and after that OC test will be there and after that SC test will be there and after that sampler test will be there Sampner test will be there and after that dummy load test will be there. Dummy load test will be there. These are going to be tests we are going to conduct in order to find parameter values. Now once these tests are, means these tests will give you the results such that equivalent circuit parameter values will be found. In performance analysis, basically we can say one thing, transformer is highest efficiency machine. Why transformer is having highest efficiency compared to all other machines? Because all other machines are having rotating parts so the moment any part is rotating obviously mechanical losses will come now here the moment uh, my transformer is static machine okay so you don't have any concept of torque speed such things so in performance analysis only two things will come like you know efficiency will be there in all machines and second thing is voltage regulation because transformer from secondary will deliver voltage so how that particular voltage vary has to be analyzed okay so in performance analysis these two topics will be there now let us go to applications part so in applications part how transformer can be used as an auto transformer how different transformers can be connected in parallel operation parallel operation and how like you know three winding transformer will work three winding transformer and after that means how three phase transformer three phase transformer has to be analyzed in three phase transformer in three phase transformer means as you know dy connection yd connection such things will be analyzed 
and the main important thing is in three phase harmonics has to be analyzed because many actually by seeing harmonics word many guys may feel scared no not required okay basically if they give harmonics question in your gate exam within maximum 30 seconds you can answer one advantage and second advantage is the, they are going to give theoretical questions they cannot provide any problems so harmonics is going to be very important means in recent gate also they have given two questions for two plus two four marks in harmonics okay so in this way we are going to analyze transformer